Halloween has come to second in Charlie's. Feeling spoopy. This backpack's like a hundred bucks, but it's cute. Pencils? <sighs> Cthulhu. Ooh, this book looks... No, but this book looks pretty. Oh, it's only seven. It's seven dollars. Oh. We have a Cthulhu coming for the baby. What's... Oh, his it's name, Cthulhu tea. His name is Phil. His name's Phil? Yeah, look. Phil. That's funny. It's Cthulhu T. Yeah. Arkham Horror Games. He doesn't have a price on Cthulhu Monopoly. I saw that. These books are pretty too. They're gothic collections. I have this one. Yeah. I think I have one of them too. Here's the Celtic, Celtic Mist and Tales. Oh, I want it. How much are they? I kind of want that. Chucky. <laughs> Stephen King. Edgar Allan cool <laughs> freddy versus jason ice cubes that's neat frankenstein dude mary shelley's frankenstein is such an amazing amazing book oh that's very cool check it out i want this they have a collection of like first editions and stuff and the prince and the popper what am i looking at <gasps> That's cool. You want a backpack. Their Captain Marvel section. The bag. There's a goose pin. I love this is second in Charlie's and it's the best. They also have an impressive collection of pop vinyls and rock candies if you're uh, if you collect that stuff. Guitar, CD, shirts, movies, music, everything. They've got all kinds of stuff in here. If you have a second in Charlie in your vicinity, go check them out. They've got everything. Manga, Marvel. Look at this. Look at the Raja, you guys. Dungeons and Dragons. I'm actually here to look at a Star Wars RPG book. I'm going to go find it. Look at the Raja. Look at the Stitch. Look at the stitch lap desk. The Beauty and the Beast journal with markers. The genie down there. The cookie jar. It's probably they do do used books. Let's see if there's anything on the other side. Oh, these are cute. Look, it's Gizmo Duck. They always have good Disney stuff in here. I need the blue shell pillow so I can throw it at the kids. Fortnite! Oh, that's cool. Fortnite Nerf gun? Do you need a giant? Nope, I do not need a giant Fortnite llama. Harry Potter. Oh, that's cute. It's um, Pokemon, so it's like there's Butterfree and Venonat and Venomoth. Some Detective Pikachu stuff over here, too. <laughs> that's funny. All your Harry Potter needs. Yeah, there was a cute Stitch wallet. It's, it sucks that it's a girl's wallet, because I'd totally use it. No, if it looks like a girl's wallet. It wouldn't it wouldn't fit in my pocket. That's, what, That's what makes it a girl's it, a girl's it wouldn't fit in my pocket. <gasps> oh, Clarence, we gotta go check out Clarence. That's cute. Oh, it's the fairy! Yeah. You guys look, it's Navi the fairy. I kinda want that. Now. Look, it's the wings. I want it. <sighs> Toy Story. More llamas, more unicorns. We're gonna go check out Clarence. leaving. I can't, okay? Girls get cute stuff. All the journals? I like that journal. That's cool. I like that cup. I 
Dobby puzzle. These must be wands. Yeah, it's a light painting wand. That's cool. So I said earlier, they have more manga than like an entire wall of it. We got comic books, video games, board games, wall art, Godzilla action figures. There's plenty of comics and stuff. My Little Pony, Invader Zim, Wonder Woman, Titans. They've got yeah, D and D RPG books. I'm actually here for a Star Wars RPG book. So D and D Pathfinder, Warhammer comic books. This is comic books. So where? Magic the Gat. Ooh, the art of Magic the Gathering. I bet that's nice. Don't see Star Wars. Starfinder Warhammer. I'm assuming it's alphabetical. So maybe Star Wars is in the Star Wars section, which I did see a few minutes ago. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, I only own most of those, but that's pretty. Alright, well, let's go check the Star Wars section because I don't see Star Wars here. I've got a bunch of like retro stuff up here too, but they have a monorail for your, or they have a spaceship Earth for your monorail. How cool is that? Alright, so we're at Blaze Pizza and they have a new keto crust and a cauliflower crust. So I got uh, the keto crust because it is six net carbs, 51 grams of protein, and only 410 calories, and it's gluten free. So I'm gonna show you some video of it. Hang on. So it's made with, sorry, I don't know if you guys can hear Kristen, it's made with cauliflower, mozzarella, brown rice, flax seed, whey, and casein, casein protein, and eggs. But that's what it looks like. So I got mine half spicy red, half garlic parm. I'm gonna go garlic parm first. It's got soy chorizo, fresh basil, um, mozzarella ricotta, fresh mozzarella, and beef and bacon on it. So the crust is kind of almost like New York style. It's, um, it's, yeah, it's cute. Did you hear what I had on it? No. Uh, so it's ham and pineapple, but it's ham and pineapple and bacon and banana peppers. Mozzarella and so the crust isn't crispy or anything. It's kind of almost like New York, but this is like it's too hot. How are you gonna eat it? Watch me. Okay. Or is it too hot? Mm. <coughs> I have a lot of spice in my throat right now. I don't know what. I don't know if it's the chorizo or what, but it's spicy, but... It's totally that pesto. The crust doesn't have any, like, strong, overwhelming flavor or anything. Dude, it's so good. Holy crap, Blaze. Holy crap. I'm coming back, because this is great. Alright, so we're leaving Blaze, headed home, gotta feed kids. But, I did eat just a piece of the crust by itself. And I'll say I get a slight, very, very faint cauliflower flavor, but that's just eating the crust by itself. With everything else mixed in, you couldn't tell. So the spicy red sauce was super spicy. I, I took another bite of the spicy side uh, after I turned the camera off. But dude, Blaze, oh my God, dude, a freaking keto friendly, low carb pizza, freaking off the chain. It was so good. Is how bad it's raining to the trees leaning?
that's the dark danger. And then on that side, it's beautiful. Come on, ducks, I gotta get the driveway. Are we gonna do this the whole way, ducks? Thank you. Have a good day, ducks. There's a pond over there. That's where they're headed. Back that way.
All right, we're finally home. Um, so in this video, you've seen us try or me try the keto-friendly pizza from Blaze. Uh, the kids tried it and they enjoyed it. Sorry, I'm like angling way up there. Ooh. Um, the kids tried it and they enjoyed it. Christian tried it and really liked it. And then we tried the Impossible Burger from Burger King. Um, and the kids said they liked that more than they like an actual Whopper. So Burger King, keep the Impossible Burger because it tastes better than your actual Whopper, which is weird. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and that's an Ellie. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to end this. You guys saw the crazy rainstorm and stuff in the other footage, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm going to go get ready and changed and relax and then get ready for the podcast. So we love you guys. Till tomorrow. tomorrow.